welcome back to my channel. My name is Pika and I do fragrance reviews. So welcome back everybody. In today's video I'm doing something that I thought in all honesty that I would never do because I don't necessarily like this topic but again I know that many of you do so I might as well give you content that you actually look forward to. So we are going to be talking about most complimented fragrances. Now these are most complimented so far for 2021 um, so we've only reached what half of the year so far maybe a little bit more um, so I thought what I would show you guys what I've been complimented on and as always, I mean, I don't think I need to make a disclaimer because it is common sense that, you know, if you wear a fragrance, it doesn't mean that you will get compliments. It depends who you're around, depends on so, so many factors. So let me just jump straight into the video. So the first fragrance is a fragrance that my beautiful friend Giselle recommended me some time ago now. And I bought it straight away because I knew that I would love it. And it is called The Hub from Kajal. Now, I know that this has recently become popular on YouTube and for a very good reason because it's a really incredible passion fruit fragrance. It has a very, very um, sharp opening, which can put some people off, but don't worry, it does mellow out and it does become quite sweet, tangy, a little bit soft and musky as well. I'm sure that it has white musk in here as well. It does have other fruits, like I do detect apple for some reason and I have literally no clue why. Um, I do detect other fruits as well, but overall it's definitely the passion fruit that takes over this fragrance. And usually what I do do is I layer this with Cruz del Sol 2, which is a mango fragrance, or May Reed from Loewe, and it just, wow, just wow. In the summer heat, this just radiates. It blossoms so maybe that's why I get quite a few compliments on this one and loads of my friends say that this is their most favorite fragrance that they've smelt on me so I don't know but it's really an incredible fragrance and it's called the hub from Kajal so this next fragrance might surprise some of you because Sometimes people assume that very heavy dark fragrances are the ones that will get compliments. And in my opinion, I don't think that's the case. Sometimes, especially with guys as well, they love fresh scents on women. Um, fresh scents that project fresh, fresh, <laughs> fresh scents that make you smell very clean, put together, very ladylike. And this is definitely one of them. So this is Stilettos on Lair. You can already see how much I've used of this fragrance. That's how much I adore, like, gosh, guys, I adore this fragrance. It is insane. Now, how do I even describe Stilettos in Lair? So first of all, let me say where I've got, gotten the most compliments from this one. I've gotten the most compliments at work, in the office for this. And what I'm going to do for you guys very shortly, maybe next week or the week after, is I'm going to do an office lookbook in terms of what, you know, what clothes I'd wear to the office alongside what fragrances I'd wear as well. This is a very clean musky but very aquatic fragrance it does have a huge note of pear like if you're really a pear fanatic you will adore this fragrance because the pear in here is so photorealistic it's not even a joke it's really rare to find something so photorealistic because you know how pear has that slight greenness um and slight i wouldn't say tanginess but there's a very uh, unique quality when it comes to pear this captures it <laughs> really, really well. Um, I believe it also has cashmere and violet leaf, all sorts of other beautiful notes in here. The violet leaf does make it a little bit ozonic, and I certainly like ozonic aquatic fragrances, especially for the summer, actually any weather to be fair. It just makes you very clean, quite approachable as well. Um, so yeah, that is Stilettos on left. 
The next fragrance I have is one that actually brings me a lot of nice, beautiful memories because I wore this when it was my friend's birthday week. I also wore this fragrance when I first met Gabby from Gabby Loves Perfumes and honestly you guys, I knew that she was really fun and, ama and an amazing person but when I met her I just, it was incredible. So this is called Oud Vendôme from Ex Nihilo. Now, I did discover Ex Nihilo a little while back now, but this one is probably, this is my favourite fragrance. I also love Amber Sky, Venom Kiss, not so much Sweet Morphine, I don't really like that fragrance. French Kiss, this one is my favourite. So, this is predominantly an oud, warm, ambery kind of fragrance. The note in here that stands out the most is 100% this very tangy, not so spicy, but very tangy, interesting ginger note, which really sets this fragrance apart from all other fragrances. And the nearest fragrance that I do know that smells like this is called Oud Radio from Cartier. That one is so bloody expensive, it's nuts. And that has a bit more of a citrus kind of note. This is not so citrusy, this is quite warm. Ambery, it definitely has quite a medicinal oud just running through it. It's beautiful. It's just an insanely good fragrance by Quentin Beach. I wore this in my friend's birthday's week. So we went out in Manchester and we were just, you know, enjoying ourselves. And I did get quite a few compliments on this one. So that is Oud Vendôme from Ex Nihilo. So the next fragrance that I have is a new one to my collection and it was actually sent to me kindly by Mikalev. Now you guys know I've loved Mikalev since a very long time. It's not just been recently. Um, I've always loved their fragrances. I love quite a few of their discontinued more exclusive ones like Rose Extreme, Royal Mango. There's a lot of fragrances that I love from them, um, but this one is probably my favourite and that is Elang in Gold and Nectar. Now this I did do a separate video on just comparing the two and recently I have been wearing it a lot and I wore it two or three times out and when I wore it out for those two or three times I got an insane amount of compliments and I just love it. I think it's incredible. If you guys don't know this is a beautiful Elang exotic fruit. It has lychee, has rose, um, it also has um, vanilla, like this bourbon vanilla kind of um, scent, but mostly I get um, the Elang, which is quite sunscreeny, and this one alongside sandalwood and vanilla. So if you're into that type of thing, I think you'd absolutely adore this. I do also have a link below if you do want to support my channel where you can buy the Nectar version. And um, yeah, it's just incredible. So that is Elang in Gold Nectar. So the next fragrance, again, is a new one, but... Oh, the amount of compliments I've been getting from this is insane and I kind of know why. It's It does just make you smell so incredibly fresh and put together but a little bit tropical all at the same time. So that is Eden Rock by Dior. So, oh gosh, guys, I, on, I honestly cannot wait until they release the new one which I think is called Vanilla Diorama, something like that. Oh my lord, I cannot wait to sniff that one and to buy that one. But for the meantime, this one will definitely do the job. So Eden Rock, to me, is a aquatic fragrance. Again, don't know whether that's where that's coming from. It does have salt, it has citruses. I feel like it has bergamot in here, alongside this beautiful jasmine, very floral, white, imagine white bush kind of jasmine. Really amazing fragrance. I don't necessarily get the coconut from this, but the other notes I do, it's just quite a fresh, easy breezy aquatic fragrance. Absolutely insane. Eden Rock from Dior. Right, so I do have two more fragrances to go. So this one is called Pivoine Suzu from Armani. Now I've known this fragrance again for a long time since it practically launched. Um, I was nearly going to buy this when I first bought Rouge Malachite some years ago now, um, but 
I kind of held on to my sample for ages. I don't know why, like I had a five mil sample, so that's probably the reason being why I hang, I hung on to it for so long. But anyway, this is an absolutely incredible, incredible fragrance. If you don't know how this one smells like, I'll just spread it here. I should have bought a bigger bottle, honestly. Oh. <laughs> so feminine, so beautiful, so fresh, inviting, invigorating. Oh my Lord, this is such a good fragrance. So it has raspberry in the very top, very champagne-like raspberry, very tangy alongside peony. Um, it also has rose, I believe. Um, it does have other notes like cashmere and all sorts of other base notes like amber. But what you have to take into consideration is that it's not, like even though it's an eau de toilette, it does perform like an EDP in my opinion, but hey, that is just my opinion. You would have to test it to be able to find out. But overall, it's just a sweet, fruity, floral fragrance. Absolutely feminine, has that peony and raspberry kick. Insane, so that is Pive One Suzu. So guys, the last fragrance that I have is from the house of Vidian, or Widian, and this is called Delma. Now, this is a really interesting fragrance. It does have a lot of different kind of components to it. It's both soapy, fresh, leathery and sweet all of all of the same time and fruity so it's quite a unique fragrance i think this would make as a great signature fragrance actually because it's not too heavy and it's really interesting i think a lot of people would be quite drawn to this fragrance and i have had <laughs> quite a few compliments as a result i think people love this fragrance um i usually pair it with my leather jacket and it seems to do wonders like the leather with the leather I don't know, I don't know why it seems to do that, but hey, lots of people really like this. So, what does this fragrance smell like? Now, this is a fruity beginning. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> it has um, citruses. Oh, sorry guys, I just sprayed myself in the eye. Um, it also has a really big dose of peach, which kind of might go into a bit of a vintage vibe but not necessarily in here but it does make it quite ladylike and a little bit more mature and then it does have a big note of geranium i get geranium more than any other floral note in this fragrance and i love geranium and then goes down into a leathery powdery kind of fragrance if you know what i mean so overall it does keep its sweetness which is quite nice but it does still have other components in it so if you're into that kind of thing i would definitely definitely recommend it so that is Delma from Vidian. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe as always. The likes do really help with the channel and yeah, I just hope that you've really enjoyed it. I really have. I hope you have an amazing week or an amazing weekend whenever this video goes out and I shall catch you in my next one. Bye guys.